Monkey Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and this is the best of the Eve 30-day challenge. So someone's sending me a joint fleet. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, <laughs> it's you, huh? Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're neither, together join the club, today. neither do I. <laughs> um, I would like to point out that your Mimitar Frigate Level 1 has done training, so if you wanted to, you could hop into that ship and start getting stuff put on it. Okay. And uh, should I be joining his fleet or not? I have no clue. What does that even mean? Join it. Join it? Okay. It's basically like a group in uh, World of Warcraft. You're joining a party, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But when you're in a fleet, based on the uh, fleet booster skills, you gain a uh, uh, boosts to your attributes like your uh, armor amount or your shield amount or resists things like that but, uh, this fleet is uh, is another aspect that we sh shall go deeper into later okay yeah, that it's, uh, it's also got uh, lots of features and uh, skills involved in some of them and things like that okay so to to switch ships do i just right click on it and yep and then uh make active make active Make active. Okay. And then on the uh, right hand side, under the Federal Navy Academy, you can click on enter ship hangar and you can spin your ship. Yeah. It, 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 yeah <laughs> I can that, spin that, it. That, All right. Yeah, that's that's yeah. a very key part of Eve. Yeah, oh, that's really? a very, very important thing to do. We need more to do it. Uh, now, if you close <laughs> your uh, certification planner, mm -hmm. you can actually see a counter of how many times you're spinning your you spin your ship, it is vital that you get at least 10,000 a day. I think you guys are full of bullshit. <laughs> no, it is, yeah, yeah, spin basically, it. But, but, it, but it's, uh, that, that, that's one of the things that Eve has, that, that you can be sitting in station, spin, spinning your ship, uh, chatting in corp, in corp chat or chatting on TeamSpeak just while spinning your ship and doing absolutely nothing. Okay, well, I don't think that this is uh, really doing it's, me much. It's how you AFK train your skills without being AFK. Okay. I see. I think that I think this is like some noob joke. <laughs> it's got a counter no, down the bottom in the middle. It is. Is he know that? Oh, there, there is. The, there is. Okay, ship spin counter. Okay, fine. So I've done sixteen <laughs> times nineteen. Oh my God! I am. I've hit twenty three. It's it's the running joke. <laughs> Yes. No, you can't undock until you hit 500. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not falling um, for it. This is a snipe ship hunt, huh? You'll probably want to open your uh, fitting and start putting in your modules. Okay. It's the, uh, the blue. The blue. Um, this. No. The blue ship icon They're mostly blue. Left under the, does, uh, the it mail icon. It doesn't really icon. look like a ship. <laughs> Um, Above the medical item. Shit, if I even knew where the medical item was. Yeah, it's under your oh. mail icon. Oh. On the right side. On the right side, oh. Just I oh. just do everything from the left because it's so much easier to learn from the left hand panel than it is the right. Okay. I'm feeling lost here, folks. <laughs> that's okay. It's not like it's the simplest game in the world. No. Well, and that's that's exactly why I decided to to um, to do this is to um, because because it has been so hard. Okay. So uh, fitting right here. Would that be it? Yep. Okay. And also go ahead and open up your inventory. Okay. Uh, and an item hanger. Okay. So... And then you'll be able to drag and drop modules onto your ship. Which looks like you already have three Gatling guns, so you want to put those guys on. So is this um, three Gatling guns? Okay, I see where you can put them. And you just drag it down like this. You do not have the yeah, required or... skills to fit and use the item. Oh no. Okay, but well, we'll have to train that then. Um... Okay, so I need the to skill go. should already be injected. So here's it my should be under gunnery, and it should be under small hyper or small projectile turret. Gunnery. Okay. Small you, you projectile turret. Five minutes. Um, 
go ahead. It's over in your queue already, so you can drag it to the top. Which one? Oh, wait, I'm Load sorry. That's actual gunnery. Turret. Yeah, so I just load the uh, projectile turret. It's going to be five minutes uh, to train that. Go ahead so. and hit apply to get it going. Yeah, I did. I did. So. Oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> um, so, okay. So maybe I can do some other stuff. Now, what happens? What do these go when I minimize them? They just go back over to the left? Pfft. Yeah. yeah. Um, you should probably go ahead at this point, then, and start right-clicking on the modules in your inventory and see what kind of prereqs those have so you can fully outfit yeah, the ship. Yeah, that would be a well, should you're going to have issues with your afterburner. Well, don't I just drag it onto there and just see whether it works? <laughs> um, you can, or you, you can, can. right-click and look at prereqs, and that's typically the better thing to do for some of the modules that require multiple things. Am I going to want to put all of these on, or just yes, some? Yes, preferably. You don't have to. So, and so, like this one, this one has an S next to it, but it has no symbol. What what is that's this? That's ammo. ammo. Okay. The S means it fits a small size gun. Okay. And then the micro auxiliary, it has it has a single thing right here, so I put it down. The, that would be the low power slots. Then the two sideways bars would be uh, mid power. Then the three is the high power. Okay. So I'm looking at this now. Um, what, do I just show the info? And it requires yeah, energy management level two. And so. Um, you can queue that, but level two will take a little bit longer. So you might want to see what other ones you want to train first. You can add it to the queue later, or down further down the queue if you want. Yeah, if you noticed when you were at show info showing you the uh, prereqs, it told you the total amount of time it would take to train it to that level. It was really? a little over an hour. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I can at least um, um, get them in my queue. I think. I would take uh, off gunnery level four because that's got like eleven hours filling up your queue, whilst training other point, things at least. At this point, if you're gonna fly the Minotaur ship, there's no need to have the uh, Galente free it either. Okay, I'll load up stuff after I'm done playing today. You know, of all the other stuff that I may want later, I guess. Yeah, you always want to make sure your uh, queue is twenty-four hours or higher. So that way, if you can't get to it, you'll still be training. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, okay, so I need this energy management level two. And it's is that... Oh, here we go. Here's energy management three. Do I already have that one? I must. The three X means it takes three times as long as the uh, low... As the... Uh, Never standard one skill. training time, so it's just the three X is the how long it takes to train compared to a standard skill. Now on the right, it'll tell you level zero. That's what you're at right now. Oh, I see. I see. So I am gonna um, just pop that up there. That's 17 minutes on that one, but I need I need uh, energy management level two, right? Just Correct. Just it on underneath it. Well, but where is number two? You just drag just it again. Same as what you just again. did. Oh, you just drag it again to there. Oh. Yep. Yep. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to have this ship fully outfitted today. Probably not. Well, uh, not the basic uh, stuff you will. Quickly. Yeah. An engineering level three. You already have that. You ship. have it already. No need to train engineering level three. Oh, I see. Already. I see. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and that was in that. Okay. Damage control. Show info. Hull upgrades level one. And you where need to skill it? Yeah. It's mechanics. under mechanics. Hull upgrades. Okay. So. Um. You also might want to make sure you're prioritizing which ones you want finished first. Yeah. If you uh, want to queue them up, one... then go do something while you're waiting. Right. Well, I think that I can load that. I see, I only need level one, so I'll be able to load that one right away. You know, right. 11 minutes from now. Um, and I only and I need mechanics level one, which it looks like I already have. 
And then the Gatling guns, I think we figured that one out, didn't we, already? Yeah, they're about to be done. Yeah, okay. So, and then, uh, what is a, uh, is this a microwave drive? Microwave. Microwave. Drive. Microwave. Makes it go fast. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, maybe, maybe, maybe it'd make me go hotter. I'd uh, cook along the way. It's a 500% increase. <laughs> or 500% increase to your speed. Oh, really? That's, but it uh, also makes you five times easier to hit. Are you serious? Yeah. And it drains your uh, capacitor really quick. Hmm. So is that... Why would I want to use it? it? It's the oh shit, get me out button when, while I'm being warp locked. Oh, okay. Because often the five times increase to speed uh, still makes you harder to hit even with the signature radius increase. The signature radius is basically tells you like... Uh, Everything uh, in EVE says the signature radius is a little ball. So your guns try and track that little ball moving through space. Now your ball would be it'd be five times as large as the base, but it's still not as easy to hit with you moving that fast. Okay. 90% of EVE is about understanding. Yeah. Uh, Probably higher than that. It, it's a lot of physics. Mm -hmm. that you, don't, you don't need to understand it just so long as you've got the idea that it's there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, okay, now this has a red X, uh, high speed maneuvering, and that yeah, was... You have to train afterburner three before you can even train high speed maneuvering. Yep. Okay, so an afterburner... That was the skill you couldn't inject before. Right. So navigation, afterburner one. Um, so now we teach Marky how to use the market then, if he doesn't have it already. Well, so if oh, I just it. load it here, um, that one takes... Um, hmm. Yeah, you'll notice it'll take three hours and 22 minutes before you can even use this item, so it's probably going to be one of the, um... Last items. Last things to add. Yeah, okay, well, it is in my queue. Um, um and it... I mean, it would be worth it to train at least Afterburner 1, because you can't equip an Afterburner as opposed to a Micro Warp Drive. Okay. And thing, if you want to go do some of the starting missions just to get a better hang of combat, I don't know whether you've done that or not yet, you don't really need to worry about the warp disruptor or the web of fire, particularly at the start. It's sort of the shield would be worth using. Mm hmm Okay. I believe they introduced uh, the stasis web of fire in the advanced military tutorial missions. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, well, I've only got two... Well, I got three items left. I may as well go through these and just see what else needs to be in the training queue for that. Um, the, at the very top of that list is shield upgrades. Mm-hmm. And I got to find where that is. The list that you're on, uh, you're hovering over at the very top, the top one. Very top one? You mean electronics? Um, the shield upgrades. Engineering. Uh, shield. Engineering is okay. uh, shield skills. Okay, so shield upgrades. I'm at level zero. It's going to take. Okay, so. And I need just level one. So. That would actually probably be worth putting in your number one or number two training slot, because that's going to extend the, um, the amount of shield that your ship has. Mm hmm. But uh, the only disadvantage that you're, that you're doing now by training this ship. This is a shield tank ship, and your ratio ships are armored tanks, so it takes much much longer if, if you're training both shield and armored tanks at the same time. You need to choose if you want to use shield tank ship or armored tank ship to begin with. Until, until you have a little bit of skill with one, you can start to cross-train over to the other. Hmm. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Um... I have a feeling that, that as I learn more, I'll change my mind on my direction that I'm going uh, as, I, as I figure things out. Yeah, if you That's want fine. to um, focus on uh, armor tanking, I believe the Rifter is armor tanked, and that's a really popular Mimitar frigate as well. Well, a lot of the Mimitar ships can be uh, shield or armor tank. Yep. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to stick with what I've got here right now, um, rather than trying to change 
focus right away. Yeah. So you should yeah. be able to drag your Gatling guns on now. Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, let me finish. Uh, I need, let's see, I, I've got engineering and science level two already, and then show info, let's see, stasis webifier. Yeah, that's a, um, a PvP mod. It slows people down. Oh, okay. It also has a lot of use in PvE if you want to slow down ships that are hard to hit. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're flying if you're flying with bl with blasters, on uh, like the Galente ships are made for the webfire is very good to to maximize the damage by slowing them down. Just not the tracking because the guns need to track the target and the slower that the target goes, it e it's easier for for the guns to track them. Okay. So and then one last item here. Uh, oh, that still need, that's, it needs the same thing, so they'll both be available at the same time. Okay. Well, I've got um, I've got uh, a bit of stuff here. Um, <clears throat> okay, and I only needed minimum tar frigate one to actually get into the ship. And I've got all these other little things. I think I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit. Get the most bang for the buck as quick as possible, I guess. So, <clears throat> okay, now uh, let's see here. Oh, I got to open my inventory again because I can put the the guns on. Correct. Okay, and so I'm just gonna drag them down into here. And do these require ammo? They do. So, like this ammo that I have here, is that what I'm yep. going to use? Yes. And right. and do I have to put that on the ship as well? Yeah, you can I, uh, right click and load ammo. Or you can just drag it into the ship. Drag it yep. into the ship. You also want to drag a good number of it into the hull, or the cargo hold of your ship. Okay, and where is the cargo hold of my ship? If you look in your inventory window, in the top left, it'll say Marquee Dragon Slasher. Mm -hmm. You can drag the ammo into there, and that'll uh, move it into the cargo hold so you can reload Oh, it space. loaded all of it. Is that bad? <laughs> no. No? Okay. Okay. It's it's only bad when I blow up and I, then I need to buy more, right? Ammo's cheap. You'll be fine. Yeah, okay. You got plenty of cash. Okay. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Now that you've made it this far... Let me take a moment to thank CCP and Summer Blink. Uh, thank you for all of the codes that you've given us to give out over all of these videos. It's been really great. Uh, now, if you need ETC or a new account code or a trial account, please consider coming to MarkyDragon.com. There's a link in the description. Sales of codes there actually directly support the creation of these videos. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care.